Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. In today's video, I want to teach you guys how to fall back in love with your houseplants. I know that keeping houseplants is typically seen as a hobby, and hobbies are often things that we fall in and out of love with, so it is very common for you to kind of fall out of love with your plants every once in a while. With that being said though, in today's video, I wanna show you guys some tips on how to fall in love with the houseplants that you currently have without going out and buying more, because that is definitely a very common thing to do. If you're falling out of love with the plants that you currently have, you just go head on straight to the store and pick up a new one, but that's not the best way to go about it. There are so many things that you can do before you go back to the plant shop. So yeah, I'm just going to talk about those things with you today. Before I do get into that though, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you could subscribe down below, that would mean a ton to me. And if you want to leave a comment as well, that gets you entered into the giveaway to win a $20 Amazon gift card. The winner of that gift card will be announced on my next video, so be sure to enter today. Also, if you would like to join as a member of my channel, you can do so by clicking the join button or there's also a link down in the description below if you don't see a join button. But even at the lowest level, you get access to my Discord group chat where we talk all day long about houseplants. And yeah, it's a really fun community over there. So definitely check that out if you are interested. But that is going to be all of the blabbing before I get into my tips and tricks. So yeah, let's get straight on into today's video. The best way to fall back in love with your houseplants is to reorganize them, in my opinion. I find when you're looking at your plants in the same spot day after day, it can get a little bit tiring. And if you choose to move your plants around, you can fall in love with them in a new spot. Plants are often used as decor, so if you put that plant in a new spot that you really love, you may end up loving that plant a little bit more because it's in a space that you really enjoy. So let's say if you have your plant in a bedroom that you barely ever spend any time in, why not bring it outside to the room that you spend the most amount of time in so you can really, really appreciate it. That's something that I often do when I'm not really loving a certain plant. Before I just up and get rid of it, I usually move it to a new room to see if that sparks any joy. If it's under a grow light, sometimes I will move it to a spot that has more natural light because that can also help. Just a different perspective can really change your mind on your own plants. While you can move your plants, you can also change the cover pot as well. Just change up something about the positioning of that plant, whether that means a new pot or a new location. If moving your plants around doesn't necessarily do it for you, I do have some other tips. After I try moving my plants around, the next step is for me to propagate that plant. I really love propagating my plants that I'm not super into because sometimes I just don't like the current form of that plant. I had a Hoya Viola a while ago that was kind of just stagnant in growth and wasn't looking too, too pretty. And I was almost ready to get rid of the entire plant. But what I did is I took a top cutting to give myself some insurance and I got rid of the bottom part of it. Now I have a beautiful top cutting of this plant and I am so in love with it. It even promoted new growth in the plant. So my plant that was once very stagnant is now thriving and looking so beautiful. Propagation is just such a fun way to make more plants and change the appearance of your current plant. Maybe it just needs a haircut if it's a scraggly plant. You never know, it's worth a try for sure. If you're really not loving that plant and it's gotten to the point where you are neglecting it, 
it's definitely worth trading that plant for something new. We've all had those plants that we neglect and it can be really difficult to care for plants that you're not super into because you just don't have the same investment in that plant. So if you are doing that plant dirty and it's not doing so hot, I would definitely recommend trading it for something that might be a little bit more exciting for you. While this isn't necessarily loving the plants that you currently have, you're not going out and buying a new plant. So you're definitely not cheating, but it is a really great way to get a new plant. I have made lots of videos talking about how much I love to trade. There are so many great ways to find new house plants, and this is the best way to do it without spending any money. And you can also make someone else super happy in the process because what might be trash to you is someone else's treasure. So definitely, Try trading before purchasing new plants. And yeah, that definitely should spark some new joy, especially because you're actively picking the plant that you're trading for. This one might sound a little bit odd, but trust me, it definitely does help. If you are an avid Instagrammer, I shouldn't say like me because if you follow me on Instagram, you know I kind of neglect my feed. I do post on my stories a lot, but my feed is relatively bare at the moment. If you're not already following me, actually, I'll plug myself. Go check out Lulu's Leaves on Instagram. But if you are feeling down about your plant or you're not really into it, try taking pictures of your plant and posting them on Instagram. Sometimes just getting a different vantage point. You need to unlock your iPad first. Sometimes just getting a different view of your plant and seeing it on Instagram where we typically fall in love with our house plants is the best way to rekindle that love for that plant. So stage a little photo shoot, have some fun with your plant. I know it sounds super silly, but I promise you I have done this before and it works. So if you don't have a plant Instagram, I definitely recommend starting one. There's so many fun people in the plant community, especially over on Instagram. There's so many people willing to chat and willing to share their advice. So make yourself a little planty Instagram, even if you don't have one already, and take some photos of the plants you're not currently loving. Another great thing to do is watch YouTube videos about the plant that you are not currently in love with. So let's say you have a melanocrysum and it's just not doing the best and you're struggling with it and that's a reason why you're not loving it so much. Maybe watch a care video and teach yourself a little bit more about the care requirements of that plant and fall back in love with it because it's healthier. A lot of the times these plants that we don't love are either ones that are really difficult to care for, like calatheas, <laughs> or they're ones that just aren't growing for us. And there's things you can do about that. You can learn about the care of that plant and you can also learn how to speed up that growth, whether it's putting it closer to a grow light or closer to a window. There's so many different things that you can do to help the health of your plant and help your relationship with that plant. If all of these things failed and it didn't work for you, it might be time to sell your plant and buy a new one. I know the goal of this video is definitely to fall back in love with your plant, but sometimes buying a new plant can spark your love for that new plant and also the other plants that you have in your collection. I definitely think that it's so much smarter to go through all of these steps before purchasing a new plant, but if you really just need some plant therapy, there's always that backup. And who doesn't love buying a new plant? I know I do. There's really no shame in buying plants as long as you can afford it and your house isn't completely overrun. Well guys, that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my tips and tricks for falling back in love with your house plants. Leave a comment down below if you have a tip as well. That will get you entered into the giveaway as long as you are also giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to join as a member, don't forget to do so by clicking the join button or the link down below in the description. But that is going to be all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.